A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 1 to 9. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. This parable of the sower is somewhat the mother of all parables because it speaks about listening to the word. It reminds us that the word of God is a seed which in itself is fruitful and effective, and God scatters it everywhere, paying no mind to waste. Such is the heart of God. Each one of us is ground on which the seed of the word falls. No one is excluded. The word is given to each one of us. We can ask ourselves, what type of terrain am I? Do I resemble the path, the rocky ground, the bramble bush? If we want, with the grace of God, we can become good soil, ploughed and carefully cultivated to help ripen the seed of the word. It is already present in our heart, but making it fruitful depends on us. It depends on the embrace that we reserve for this seed. Often one is distracted by too many interests by too many enticements, and it is difficult to distinguish among the many voices and many words that of the Lord, the only one that makes us free. This is why it is important to accustom oneself to listening to the word of God, to reading it. And I return once more to that advice. Always keep a handy copy of the gospel with you, a pocket edition of the gospel in your pocket, in your purse, and then read a short passage every day so that you become used to reading the word of God, understanding well the seed that God offers you and thinking with what soil do I receive it.